today is the day that I moved to online university. So up until now I have been going onto campus and it's finally switching and all my workshops, all my lectures are going to be online. I have already been having online lectures and I'm a bit nervous to have online workshops as well because I do definitely struggle to concentrate in online lectures more than I do when they're in person and I'm hoping that the workshops will be interactive which will make it easier to stay focused and I'll be able to see other people and things whereas with the lectures I can literally just see the slides and it doesn't always feel like it's happening live in person it feels more like a recorded lecture um, so hopefully this will feel a bit more real having the workshops um, I've got two this afternoon I have EU and criminal and yeah it's going to be very interesting but this morning I have to finish my EU prep. This weekend I was really focused on writing my book so I didn't get all of my uni work done so that's why I'm finishing it this morning. Basically I started writing a book in lockdown the first time around after I finished my philosophy course. Over the summer basically I was really, that was my main thing that I was doing was writing my book and it's the first full-length novel I've ever written and so the first draft of it was definitely a learning process and I've actually moved on to a second version. I basically got a bit stuck um, with writing my book and I was just finding myself not enjoying it anymore and not getting excited to write it and I felt like it wasn't there wasn't enough to it to create a full-length novel it felt more like a novella um, so basically I've decided to start again um, which is normal for writing a book to have multiple versions multiple drafts so it's not that I'm doing anything crazy um, but basically I'm starting again I'm changing the setting um, some of the characters are gone I decided that they weren't necessary and um, some of the stories slightly changed now it's more set in the future before it was set not that far in the future probably like 40 50 years whereas now it's set way in the future where there's like spaceships and different planets and everything which is the original story i wanted to write but i didn't have the confidence in myself to be able to write it um, but i've decided that's the book i want to write so i'm just going to go for it so i've been starting this second version and it is all that is in my head right now. My head is just buzzing with like ideas and scenes that I want to write down and every time I get something in my head I have to quickly like make a note because I don't want to forget anything that could be really good to add to the story. Yeah my head has been not as much focused on uni work this weekend it's been focused on writing my book which is fine. I just get really excited to write. So I just finished the first chapter over the weekend and I'm just so excited to write the next one and yeah I just have always loved writing ever since I was little and writing my first novel is really exciting. Um, I don't know how it's going to go but I'm determined to get it finished hopefully next year but we'll see. Writing a book can be a long process and you never really know what's going to happen. I love writing, I love reading, I always have done so this is like one of my main hobbies is writing and it's definitely something I'd like to share in future like my progress with how the book's going and everything so yeah. That was completely different tangent. This video is supposed to just be about switching to online university, but clearly all that's going on in there is my book. And so that's what that's what you're getting. <laughs> and don't discriminate on the grounds of nationality. So we're going to see quite a lot of that going on. I'm not going to lie. I am not having a good day. I just I'm really struggling to focus. Um, the way that it's set up is kind of similar to a lecture so I can't actually see the tutor's face or anything when she's talking and a two hour workshop it's just so hard to concentrate when I, I'm just looking at a screen. I don't know whether other people struggle with this as well but it's just really hard for me to concentrate. It was still a really useful workshop but I'm just feeling really tired and hopefully I'll get used to it, I, hopefully that'll change. Um, but also it didn't help that I just found out that we have got our, some of our mock marks back. So I just went on to check them. I'm really, really happy with how the EU one went, but public law didn't go well. And I kind of was expecting to not do as well on that one because I just don't get on with public law as much as my other modules. But it was still just a bit disheartening to get a mark that I wasn't particularly happy with. And I think it's important to be honest about these things. like. Sometimes we get marks that just make us want to cry and that's okay but it's only a mark at the end of the day and I know I can pull it back and get a decent mark in the actual thing but yeah it's just put me in a bit of a bad mood to be honest um, and I've got another workshop now. The workshop's until 5.45 so um, I think I'm going to quickly get myself a snack or something because I'm a bit hungry um, to eat at the start of this and yeah I just need to get through this 
next two hours and then I can just relax. I think I need it right now. <laughs> so much better today yesterday was kind of a hard day and i i'm feeling so much better last night after my all my workshops i watched happiest season with my girlfriend girlfriend <laughs> last night after my workshops i watched happiest season with my girlfriend which was such a good film you all have to watch it it was amazing it had so many good actresses in mainly aubrey plaza who is just an icon and one of my favourite celebrities of all time. Um, so yeah, I really enjoyed it and Ellie really enjoyed it too. And it was just really nice to have a little FaceTime and watch it together and it cheered me up so much. And then this morning I went on a walk and it was really nice. It was good to get some air and get up early. And I met a dog who was really cute and it just, oh, it was really nice. I read on top of the hill and yeah, it was just really good and made me feel so much better. So I'm in a much better headspace today. I am ready to work, although I am glad I don't have any lectures or workshops today, I'm not gonna lie. I think that is gonna take some adjustment. I did find yesterday difficult. I found it difficult to concentrate and then getting the mocks in between was just a lot. Um, I may have got a little distracted and sat on my sofa on my phone for a little bit instead of carrying on with work. <laughs> carrying on I didn't even start yet um so it's just coming up to 11 o'clock and I'm about to start working on my EPP essay and then this afternoon I'm hopefully gonna start on another law firm application uh, I haven't worked on one in a few days and this one is actually due I think at the end of the week maybe or maybe next week but quite soon so I have that one to get finished and yeah I'm not really sure how this essay is going so far I've done a bit of reading on it and made some notes but I still need to do quite a lot of planning before I start actually writing it. So I'm hoping to make some good progress today. I would really love to get it done before Christmas holidays but I don't know how realistic that is because I only have three weeks left so we'll see. Hopefully I can cram in um, time on my essay and get it sorted. I hope this was a good little insight into what it's like. Uh, switching over to online uni. I want to be honest, I think a lot of people will be in the same position as me where they much prefer going onto campus and online uni just isn't the same. It's not as good for a lot of people. And yeah, I just wanted to share that experience with you. I think it's really important during this time for other people on online uni or whatever you are doing that we take care of ourselves and understand what we need to do to take care of ourselves because it's not the same for everyone. I really want to do a video about self-care because it's a topic that I really care about and have thought about a lot. <laughs> um, but that's why I went on a walk this morning um, because it's really important for me to get out of the house now that I'm not going onto campus. It's even more important. So things like FaceTiming with my girlfriend and walks in the morning can really help with my mental state and help me get on with my work and feel a lot more positive. So it's definitely helping me handle this change a lot more by making sure I'm taking care of myself and I will make sure to carry on doing that going forward so that I can have a good end to my term and then hopefully I will be back on campus in January, but we will see. <laughs>